Right, hey up, how's the doing? Uh, today's video is quite an exciting one, well I think it is anyway, I quite like it. Uh, we're going to start looking at my new rack system and the price I'm paying for everything and how much it's costing for everything. Let's have a look. Now then guys, um, just a quick unboxing uh, from Boss Rats, uh, I suggest you go look on the website, you can just put, type it in Boss Rats, they're on Facebook as well, uh, go check them out, go buy your feed, support them, make sure you do it, uh, I'm doing this one upstairs today because it's hot and I just, yeah, so Boss Rats unboxing, let's go. It's all packaged. Give them some up, they package it all very well. Ready? Big reveal. Oh, more packaging. Keep them all nice and nice and lush. So, I've got small multis there, and I've got some more small multis, and then I've got some medium multis. First things first, please like, share, subscribe, go hit that notification button just so you get all my latest content as soon as I issue it. Um, yeah, like me on Facebook, CNC Royals, um, send me a message, I'll message you back as soon as I'm able to, uh, but I will message you back if you really want. Uh, so yeah. So, as we speak right now, like yesterday I got a few deliveries, uh, I got the wood and I got the boxes yesterday. Uh, I'm still waiting for a few bits to come, the thermostat, etc. etc. Um, I've only got three boxes for now, so the price that I'm working on is only enough for one box to be heated and then two separate boxes not quite finished yet. So the price will go up, excuse me, will go up in accordance to the more, like obviously the thermostats, the heat mats that you're buying snakes uh, but the price as it stands at the minute I've got to write this down in a minute stands at £168 and 84 pence I'll put that I'll flash that up somewhere right so let me run through some of the stuff that I've I'm using, where I've got it from, the price I'm paying for it all. Now, I have written some of this down because I'm not great at remembering stuff like this, so let's start with the wood. The wood, um, I've got it from just a normal hardware store. Uh, we have one called B&Q, one called Wix. Uh, I've got mine from Wix because it was the cheaper price and the cheaper delivery. These work out the eight foot by four foot by 18 mil so just shy of two centimeters thick 
Now I would suggest getting the thicker stuff just so it don't start bowing, etc. Uh, so after we've had the wood, uh, obviously it goes without saying, drill, saw, screws, etc, etc. You're gonna need them. The next one I'm gonna tell you about are my boxes that I'm using, my tubs. Now, uh, the tubs I'm gonna be using, I'm just going to be using throughout my whole rack system, 33 litre really useful boxes. Now, they have got their own website, uh, you can just type it into Google and it'll bring it up. Go on their website, I suggest you go on their website because they're cheaper uh, if you're buying singular boxes. Now, I bought mine for a pack of three from, can't remember the name of the shop, but it's like a stationery shop over here, they sell these as well. Um, but I got these from there and I got Right, so the reason I use really useful boxes, two reasons. One, they do the perfect sizes for everything you require. Like these are just my baby tubs that I use in my uh, quarantine rack. They're nine litre, I think. Yeah, these are the nine litre ones. About the size of a, a large shoebox. Um, but they just work for purpose, they're brilliant. Uh, secondly, they have lids, yes. If you don't want to use it like what I'm using it, where they just slide in without that, take that off, they just slide in. Now, if you don't want to do that and you're a little bit more paranoid, the really useful boxes come with really good lockable lids. They do have one on the other side, but I've taken it out. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I'm using these is because, well, they lock and they just, they've got flat base as well. Uh, one thing I have noticed is some of the other boxes, they don't come with a flat base. It arches in the bottom, that's not flat. And it's got little pockets at either end, at either corner. But I mean, I know it's for stability and stuff, but these, these don't, they have a pure flat base, it's completely flat and when you open it up and you go inside, that bit there is, is completely flat. It will sit whatever substrate you want, whatever hide you want and it will keep the bottles, eh, not the bottles, the bowls relatively flat as well. So that's why I use these. Now I have just said that all my racks are going to be using 33 litre tubs. Now you're thinking that's a bit big for a hatchling, Tom. I wouldn't suggest it. No, I know you are right and I'm with you. Now, these are dividers that I found on the internet. Now that I first saw these on MJ's Pythons, uh, I'd like to give them a shout out. Cool dudes, man, I've picked their heads about the hats. I've asked him and he's filled me and he's educated me a little bit. So thanks for that, mate. Uh, very much appreciated. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, these dividers, uh, they come, you can get them in where you can, you can separate your tubs into three, like I'm gonna do, uh, or you can separate them into two. Now this is Rack Attack. Uh, I was lucky, I just kinda, I just kinda put it in Google and these guys came up uh, and they're in the UK. I don't know if they'd send it out to, I don't, I don't know, cause I don't live there. Um, but yeah, they're really good. Uh, they emailed me the other day, they have actually got two designs for their three divider uh, and they were really good. I bought them yesterday, they emailed me about tea time yesterday as well and offered me either either, the just to do it either horizontal or vertical kind of way. Um, and they gave me a choice and said, listen, let me know. Uh, so I emailed them back, that should be coming some point this week. All my 33 litre tubs will either be split into threes or twos, or just a singular one, because then I can cover all hatchlings, all sub-adults, and some adults. And I kind of thought they'd fit together like a jigsaw a bit bigger, so I can have more. <laughs> Sorry, love. So then, last thing I'm gonna need, <coughs> well, that I've ordered for now, I have got some Reptichip coming, uh, but I don't know when that's coming, so I'll just have to wait. Uh, but the next one I've got obviously is heating and my thermostat. 
Now the mat I have got, the heat mat I've got, I've gone for a really long one because it's got cover the full length of the back of a 33 litre tub. So the size I've got, sorry I've written this down, is a 73 centimetre long, which is pretty big, and it's 28 centimetres wide. So that will cover the back half, or back third, if I can help it, of my tub. So then guys that's it for another one please like share subscribe those that are subscribing thank you very much it's very much appreciated keep watching me videos uh, any comments you can stick on there any feedback uh, please feel free to share uh, Facebook as well if you message me on there I'll try my best to message you back whenever I can whenever I've got some spare time uh, but yeah thanks guys see you next one Ta -ra.